recording. Hat er noch? Servus, I'm Moon. And I'm Alex. And uh, we are both studying aerospace in the third semester here at TUM. This week we are welcoming a new batch of aerospace students. And together with the Student Council of Aerospace and Geodesy, we're here on Campus Garching to get to know some of them a bit better. Let's dive right in. Please uh, tell me your name, uh, how old are you guys, and uh, where are you from? Hi, I'm Charlotte von Casado, but most people call me Coco. I'm 18 years old, and I'm half German, half Spanish, but I've lived in Munich my whole life. So I'm Maya, and I'm 19. I'm from Bielefeld. Yeah, most people say it doesn't exist. <laughs> my name is Jacob, I'm 19, and I'm from Rosenheim. My name is Maiven and I'm 19 years old and I come from Germany, from Baden-Württemberg. I'm Mathieu Bello, I am 18 years old, I'm from Germany near Ulm. I'm Dia, I'm from India and I'm 17 years old. I'm Ava and I'm uh, from Iran originally but I lived in Lithuania for 11 years and uh, I'm 19. I'm Benjamin, um, I'm from Austria and I'm 20 years old. Um, we're gonna start off with some quick uh, this or that questions. Just what you intuitively think the okay. first of, okay? Um, aviation or space? Space. Ooh, hard question, but I'm gonna have to go space. 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 Aviation. 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 And uh, manned space mission or satellite launch? Satellite launch. Satellite launches. Manned space missions. Manned space missions, definitely. Okay, and Moon or Mars? Both, but Mars. Mars seems more exciting, but Moon is more realistic for uh, the current time frame. SpaceX or ESA? ESA. ESA. And for you, military or civil, civil aircraft? Civil aircraft. More civil, but yeah, then again, <laughs> both military. Then F-35 or Eurofighter? <laughs> F-35. Eurofighter. Airbus or Boeing? Oh, that's a hard question, <laughs> but Boeing, baby. Yeah, Boeing. What made you choose uh, to come and study at TUM? Um, I looked at a few unis. I also went to the Netherlands to look at some unis. Um, what really drew me to TUM after I decided I wanted to study in Germany is that you can study in English here. I had some uh, encounters with TUM before because my sister actually goes to TUM and I was very inspired by the, uh, the student initiatives. Well, I always thought TUM would be a great option for me because I can still live at home, so I'm still with my family and the friends that I have met here already and TUM is one of the best universities, so it was a perfect combination for me. My dream is to become an astronaut and uh, to study aerospace at the TUM would um, give me the opportunity to take a first step in this direction. So yes, I'm very happy to be at the TUM. <laughs> also, I like Munich because it's an international city and um, compared to similar programs within Germany. This one is completely in English, so it's very international and I like that approach to aerospace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I think Munich is a very beautiful city. It's, I mean, there's mountains nearby, there's a regatta course nearby. Uh, so yeah, it's really cool here. I first chose my study program, which was like aerospace. Uh, and I chose it because uh, when I traveled, migrated with my family from Iran to Lithuania, um, my mom's friend knew the captain and I had the chance to visit the cockpit while we were in the air. And the memory just stuck in my mind for till now. And that's why I decided uh, that I love German language and I love aerospace, so why not choose TUM and the ranking speaks for itself also. That's the reason. What of you uh, inspired you to choose aerospace as a, as a program? Like my fascination for space and space travel, uh, I, it has been there since I'm a little child. Um, uh, I, I've often been to the open days of Deutsches Luft- und Raumfahrtzentrum, it's called in Germany, in Oberpfaffenhofen, so, and 
Uh, I really was like fascinated by space and rockets and everything. Myself, my younger self, which always had a passion for airplanes and always look, loved looking up in the sky and just watching them fly by. So me, yeah. I really liked maths and physics, so I tried to find something where I could could combine those things while still having like a technical application to it. I was between electrical engineering and aerospace, but uh, I decided that I would be more interested in also doing specifically thermodynamics. And um, that's a really big passion, passion of mine, yeah. I've always loved planes uh, since I was a kid. And you know, aerospace is uh, engineering. I think it, you can call it the crown of an all engineering field. You know, it combines mechanical and uh, computer science and electrical, all of them in together. You are in the industry where you build something what flies in the end. So I think it's just a little bit, It's I'm, I'm fascinated by that, so yes. And I just like the idea of working in the field of aerospace in the future, yeah. Yeah, there's only one true answer to this question and that's planes and rockets are cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best movie about aerospace or space travel in your opinion? Um, I love Interstellar. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> Star Wars. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gotta say Interstellar. How is this, this movie called? The, Mar the, Martian? the Martian? The Martian, yes. I, I like the movie. Gotta go with Interstellar. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Standable. Maybe Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And what's another thing that you're interested in outside of academics? I'm a rower, so because of my height, I, I've now rowed for nine years and um, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. Um, I play the cello and I also love skiing, so I did race skiing for a few years. Yeah. Bouldering and I do a lot of sports like in Tyrol, obviously winter sports is quite a big thing. Yeah, um, I do a lot of sports. I um, play volleyball and I also like playing piano and singing. Collecting memories with people and meeting new people. I've already had so many nice conversations. And, yeah. um, Partying. <laughs> I would say exploring new missions that TUNE programs offer, uh, like Horizon and War. So I'm mostly excited to work on those uh, besides my study program, but yeah, also partying, of course, is one of the important aspects. Last question, uh, how many hours do you think you will be studying per week? Oh, tough question. Um, I hope more than, more than 20. I'm ready for 30 hours, but I'm expecting it to partially go up to 50 hours, I guess, during exam week or something like that. I hope I will study less, uh, hours than uh, if I went in, go into work field and work. And yeah. the study hour must be less than work hours. Well, I'm going to try and attend all the lectures and everything, but outside of the lectures, I have to see where I can fit it in, but maybe like three hours outside of lectures a day. 15 hours or something like this at home? Eight hours? I, I don't know if, if this is realistic, but... <laughs> i say overall maybe 40 hours a week. 16 hours? Is that too much, too little? <laughs> yeah, according to what I've been told, about 25 to 30 hours, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, nice. Thank you guys for this so uh, lovely interview. I hope you guys will uh, excel in your studies. So we hope you enjoyed getting to know some of our new aerospace students. You can follow us on Instagram at fslag underscore tom and on YouTube. And good luck to all the SDs in their studies. Bye! Bye! Bye.